Well, welcome again as we spend some time together and we're currently in the Book of 1 Samuel. And we're thinking about some of these early stories of David. Today, we're going to be in one of those famous passages in the Bible, a favourite Sunday school story for sure. We've read it before, we've seen it acted out, and of course the story, the image of a humble shepherd boy beating the giant bully of a soldier has moved beyond the Bible into current usage. Whenever a plucky team wins a battle, seemingly against the odds, against a stronger opposition, uh, we hear the story of David and Goliath mentioned. And on the face of it, as we view this encounter in the eyes of all who had gathered, that's how it appeared. It was ridiculous to expect David, the inexperienced shepherd boy, the younger brother, to compete against this experienced brute of a soldier, this Philistine champion. I said that all who viewed the situation saw it that way, a one-sided encounter. But that's not true. David saw things differently, very differently. We're going to read 1 Samuel 17, 45 to 50. David said to the Philistine, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands. I'll strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. All those gathered here will know it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. As the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly towards the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag, taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Without a sword in his hand, he struck down the Philistine and killed him. You come at me with sword and spear, with human instruments of war, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. What a great speech by David. David didn't view himself as the underdog in this encounter. As far as David was concerned, he was the favourite. In David's mind, small Goliath, dressed in the puny human weapons of war, was facing off against the mighty Lord God, creator, sustainer, king of the whole earth. Goliath may have had an image in his mind that he was a glorious champion, undefeatable. But compared to the might and power and glory of the Lord God, all at David's disposal, he was an insignificant force. David's view of the matter was the battle is the Lord's. David was just acting as God's servant. The outcome was assured and guaranteed in David's mind. What are your battles at the moment? What are my battles at the moment? Perhaps like Israel standing against the Philistines, you're at an impasse, you're stuck. Perhaps you see before you a giant of a problem. And that giant is all you can see. You're stuck with fear at the enormity of the battle before you. This is where we need hearts like David's. Hearts that enable us to see the reality of the situation. Hearts that enable us to stand back and see the big picture. The battle, the giant before us, is nothing compared to the Lord God who is for us and with us. The battle is the Lord's. May God bless us as we ponder these things at this time in this season of our lives.